In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord, that the Church, the Bride of Christ, may keep unbroken the new covenant of love. Unlike your humble handmaid, who presented to you in the temple the author of new law, may the Church keep its faith unspotted, grow in hope of heaven, and deepen its heartfelt love for you. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. The Lord says, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, and suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is King of glory. The Lord of hosts is King of glory. Lift up your heads, O gates, rise up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may enter. The Lord of hosts is King of glory. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, a mighty warrior, the Lord mighty in battle. The Lord of hosts is King of glory. Lift up your heads, O gates, rise up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may enter. The Lord of hosts is King of glory. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. The Lord of hosts is King of glory. Please stand. Jesse's shoot has blossomed. A virgin has given birth to one who is truly God and truly human. God has restored our peace, reconciling in himself earth with heaven. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony testifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. 
The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to Him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. May dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. The Gospel today tells us about faith, the manner of believing, and more importantly, the disposition of believing. It says, whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever believes has eternal life. Eternal life does not simply mean an end of life. Hindi po natin pinag-uusapan to sa kabilang buhay. At hindi kinakailangan nating mamatay for us, for us to gain such eternal life. When we talk about eternal life, it simply means a fullness kind of life. That even here on earth, we have to manifest such kind of disposition. Kaya ito yung magandang paalala sa atin. Tayo na mga nananampalataya at may pananampalataya, we have to manifest that kind of eternal life here on earth. Anong ibig sabihin nito ng fullness of life? Ibig sabihin, dapat yung buhay natin ay mabuti, marangal, maayos, makatotohanan, tapat, may katotohanan, totoo. At ibig sabihin, mapayapa. Paano mo may pasasabi sa buhay sa Diyos na ikaw na may pananampalataya and yet what you are manifesting is division, conflict, accusation. Paano mo masasabi yun? Kaya ito yung magandang paalala sa atin. Today is the second week of Easter. And take note, the message of Easter season is about eternal life. About the fullness of life here on earth. At paano mo masasabi na ako'y nananampalataya and yet, yung mga wika natin sa lungat, sa tinatawag nating fullness of life. Kaya magandang paalala sa atin, kumusta ba yung pananampalataya? Ikaw na tayo na mga Kristiyano at Katoliko na nanampalataya sa Diyos, na may pananampalataya bilang Katoliko, paano ba natin sinasabuhay ito? Kaya nakakalungkot minsan may makikita tayo na may mga taong pumipilit na dapat maniwala sa atin, maniwala sa sarili nila, maniwala sa ganito. May mga taong nagpupumilit na dapat maniwala tayo dito. Dapat ibigay natin yung tiwala sa ganito. Ibigay ang tiwala sa kanila. Na dapat mag ibigay yung, yung faith natin sa kanila. And yet, publicly, the words are na lumalabas sa kanilang mga bibig ay hindi po naaayon sa kabutihan. Mga salitang nagkikreate ng division. Mga salitang hindi nakakabuti sa kapwa. Mga salitang sabihin nating paninira sa kapwa. Minsan pa nga, mga salitang salungat sa mga ginagawa. Nasaan yung tinatawag nating testimony of the fullness of life? Kaya magandang paalala sa atin, kahit sa simpleng paraan, bigyan natin ng panahon, ang pagkakaroon ng assessment sa ating pananampalataya. Kumusta ba ang aking pananampalataya? And we are very reminded today that whoever believes ang mga taong may pananampalataya will have eternal life. And as I have said, we don't need to die to, have, to, say, to, say, to gain such life. Even, he, even here on earth, dapat may sasabuhay natin ito. Even in the life of Blessed Mother, kung titignan natin yung naging buhay ng ating mahal na ina, kitang-kita niyo po, from the moment of annunciation, anong naging ibabaw sa kanya? Faith. Pananampalataya sa Diyos. At not a single word na masasabi natin naging salungat siya 
sa pananampalataya niya. Kaya ito yung hamon sa atin ng mga katoliko kristyano. Tayo ay may pananampalataya. Subalit minsan o madalas, naging salungat yung ating mga pananalita. Yung ating pag-iisip. Yung na mas magiging nasanay pa tayo sa paninira sa iba. Naging salungat yung ating pamumuhay. Kaya sana po magandang paalala sa atin ngayon itong kapistahan ng ating mahal na ina. Si Maria po, na madalas nating binibisita dito, ay nagpapaalala sa atin ng isang tunay na buhay ng pananampalataya. Buhay na consistently in words and in actions, or even in this position, ay tapat sa kanyang pananampalataya. Kahit mismo yung eksena ng presentation of Jesus at the temple, kita mo yun. Kahit sinasabi sa kanya ni Simeon ang nakikita na kanyang anak na si Jesus, niyabang hindi natin narinig kay Maria. Kaya muli po, simpleng paalala sa atin ng ating pananampalataya. It's not simply about following or imitating. It's not simply about fulfilling yung pagsisimba at pagbibisita sa Basilika. But it's more than that. It's about establishing the proper disposition of living this faith. Please stand. Let us pray to our needs so that like Mary, we may respond generously to God in our daily lives. And for every petition we shall say, Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For the Pope, bishops, priests, and religious leaders, that they may remain faithful and committed to the task of shepherding the faithful, especially those who have lost their way, that they may be led back to the path towards Jesus. We pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. That our government leaders may find inspiration in the life of Mary, who lovingly served the Lord in accepting the responsibility of bearing and raising child Jesus. May they serve the people in the spirit of charity, putting aside their personal interests and advancing the common good of the people, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. That the love of God may incarnate in the world through the Virgin Mary, inspire us to share the same love with one another, especially to the poor and the marginalized in the society, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. Mary heeded the message of God unreservedly. May we patiently discern the will of God for us in our daily lives and become a living witness of God's generosity to others, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For all of us gathered here, may the example of our Blessed Mother continually inspire and guide us in our obligation to protect lives, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For all the faithful departed, that they may see face to face the regions of God's glory in heaven, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. For our personal intentions and for the intentions of the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we pray. Mary, full of grace, intercede for us. God, our Father, through the intercession of Mary, fill our hearts with your love. And as you reveal to us by a star the birth of your Son as man, so lead us through his sufferings and death to the glory of his resurrection. This we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine, the, the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, let our prayers and offerings be acceptable to you as we present them with joy in our hearts on this memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who made the offering of the poor to redeem her son, himself the Redeemer of us all, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just of our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. She is the virgin daughter of Zion, who in fulfillment of the law, presents to you her son, the glory of your people, Israel, and the light of all nations. She is the virgin, the handmaid of your plan of salvation, who presents to you the spotless lamb to be sacrificed on the altar of the cross for our salvation. She is the virgin mother who rejoices in this child of blessing, is saddened by the prophecy of Simeon, but who exalts that your people go out to meet their Savior. In our joy, we sing to your glory with all the choirs of angels. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, 
Saint Martin de Porres, and all the saints of please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. And we shall say, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. 
Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together, hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray, shepherd of souls, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Lord God, grant that by the power of the sacrament we have received, the Virgin Church, like the Virgin Mary, may serve you with undivided heart, be attentive to the voice of the Spirit, and with the lamp of faith burning brightly, go out with joy to meet the Bridegroom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of all your religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may all your religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.